Hello engineers, in this video we will learn how we can deploy on AWS Cloud using Azure DevOps. If you enjoy my content and you want to support my channel, press the like button and subscribe to my channel. In my previous video, I have demonstrated how we can use Terraform to deploy resources on AWS Cloud using the command line. Right now, we will use Azure DevOps in order to proceed with our deployments. As the first step, we will need to create a user and get the IAM credentials of this user in order to create a service connection on Azure DevOps. So we will now go and create a new user and name the user as we want. For example, I would say test. Then we will need to assign some permissions on this user based on some policies. The policies define what action this user can perform in AWS. Following the example of the previous video, we will only deploy a VPC inside our Amazon Cloud. So we will need permissions only to perform VPC actions with this user. So I will provide the Amazon VPC full access and then I will proceed and create this user. When we have this user ready, we can go and get the security credentials for this user. We will go and create a new access key and we will use a third party service as we need to deploy using Azure DevOps. So we will say that we understand the above recommendation and press next. When we press next, we can give a description on this user that we have created. And finally, we can get the access key and also the secret for this user that we have created. Next, we will need to give these credentials in Azure DevOps and create a service connection. We are switching back to Azure DevOps and we go under service connections. Then we will need to create a new service connection with our Amazon Cloud. As you can see, I have already created my service connection that I will use in my pipeline. But in order to create a new, we will need to go and create and search for AWS for Terraform. Then we will need to give the access key that we find in the user that we created and also the password that is created for this specific user. So we'll also paste the password for this user and then we will select the region under which we will work with this user. As I need to use the EU West one as my region, then I will provide the EU West one in the prompt of the service connection. Then we will give a name for this service connection, the one that we will use in our pipeline. So let's call it AWS EU West one. When the service connection is ready, we will need to use it and deploy our Terraform inside our Azure DevOps pipeline. So we will switch now to our code to see how this happens. For our new pipeline, we have created a new folder which is called AWS. And inside this folder, there is the pipeline that we will use for the deployment and also the Terraform script that we want to deploy. As you can see, the Terraform script is pretty simple and it only creates a VPC inside the region that we have specified in the Terraform provider. As you can see, we can specify the name for this VPC using the tags and also the CIDR block that we want for it to use. The pipeline part is composed with three jobs that will do the deployment that we need to perform. So as you can see, the first step is the Terraform installation. This specific task will go and install the latest version of the Terraform inside our agent pool. So I'm using the Ubuntu latest as the agent pool for this deployment. Then we will need to use the Terraform task, as you can see, and provide some specific parameters. The first parameter that I'm providing is that I need the AWS provider as I need to deploy on AWS cloud and I'm giving the command as they need. So this task will go and perform Terraform init for this working directory that I have specified. As you can see, we are giving the system default working directory slash AWS as I have created the AWS folder inside my repository. So we are pointing the specific directory where we have our Terraform code and then we specify which is the service connection that we will need to use in order to deploy in AWS cloud. The service connection is created with the credentials of the user that we created on the previous step. So the user that I have created was named test and I specified the credentials along with the permissions 
to create, delete or edit VPCs. So I'm using this specific service connection and then I can also specify if I have already created an S3 backend which holds the Terraform TF state. Right now I don't have a specific bucket created for this purpose but you can also put some input inside those mandatory fields and it will work even when you don't have those S3 buckets and files created. So we can give some test input inside those two backend AWS bucket name and also backend AWS key and then proceed with your Terraform deployment inside AWS. The next task will be the Terraform apply which we do inside the folder that we are watching. So inside this folder Terraform will find automatically what files it needs to apply and it will go and perform those deployments for you. As with the previous step we will need to specify our service connection with the AWS cloud also in this task. Let's now switch to the pipeline run to see the result. As you can see we have the three steps inside our job and the Terraform in need successfully finds the Terraform provider what we use and downloads the binary files. Then we proceed with the apply that as you can see it will auto approve the changes which is visible in the command and then it will apply those changes inside our Terraform cloud. We can verify the result of this Terraform pipeline that we created by navigating in our AWS cloud and checking the VPC. So I will switch now to the VPCs and I will go in the specific region that we selected the VPC to be created. So by hitting refresh you can see that the example app server instant VPC has been created with a specific CIDR block that we specified inside our Terraform script and precisely the main.tf. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments below if you have ever used Azure DevOps for your AWS deployments.